Hello everyone, this is Gary with your cards of the day on this beautiful sunny Sunday morning. And in honour of the fact that it is Sunday, the day of the sun, the reading that I will do today is focused on energies from my three solar deity patrons. And the card decks I've chosen reflect that. We have the new mythic tarot in honor of Apollo. We have the Norse tarot in honor of Balder. And we have the ancient Egyptian tarot in honor of Horus. And I've also drawn a card from my Greek oracle deck, which is a deck that I am working on myself. And our first card today is the Five of Cups. And when I link into this card, the feeling I get very strongly is that this is about letting go of certain things on an emotional level. It feels very much like sometimes we really kind of store up a lot of emotional issues and sometimes problems and also pain. And it really feels like today is a day of letting go of that. Getting rid of burdens that weigh us down and hold us down and hold us back. And really, also what I'm drawn to here is that we have the moon, interestingly enough, in this card. And it's sort of shining a light on these uh, cups that we have down here and the feeling I get from that is that it's kind of our intuition we will know what it is that has to be let go of so that we hold on to what is important to us and to what will benefit us the most now our second card today is the card of strength and this to me feels like very much like a sort of internal strength it's a sort of um, strength of will strength of heart determination and persistence really it's um, a kind of internal strength that we will need to show today if we're to be successful uh, but it uh, is all, it turning up in the reading does also suggest to me that we have that internal strength within us it's just a case of finding it our third card for today is the nine of discs and here we see a woman looking into a cave mouth and she sees these discs uh, inside of the cave. So this feels very much like finding sort of hidden treasure in a way. It's almost finding those things that are most valuable, kind of hidden depths and things of value that we maybe didn't even realize were there before. But we find them today, we find them within ourselves. And our final card for today, from my own oracle deck, is Gamma, which has the tagline, Ripe Fruits. Now, the feeling that I get very much with this one actually is very similar to that of the Nine of Discs, in so much that this talks of a harvest, it talks of a successful uh, completion and a successful bounty uh, from from our labours, really. So this, as, a, as an outcome card, if you like, is, is sort of ideal, because this is showing us that after all of our efforts made today, we have this sort of bounty and these ripe fruits of harvest to look forward to. So if we look at these four cards together, 
they do make a very interesting tale. We have the Five of Cups reminding us to let go emotionally of things that are no longer serving us, things that are no longer for our higher good, and to really use the intuition and the gentleness of the moon here to shine a light on things in our lives so that we can intuitively know what needs to be let go of and see what it is that we're holding on to. We have the card of strength. Also, we have in this card the rune Urus, which is the Norse rune of strength as well. And this is reminding us about the sort of internal fortitude that we will need in order to let go here. We will need that inner strength. Once that is done, we have the discovery of our hidden treasures, of something very valuable to us. And we're really looking at, and this again harks back to the first card, we're really looking at here the things that are important to us, the things that really, really matter to us. They're present in this card, just as they're shown on an emotional level in this card. And once this process is complete of letting go, keeping strong, and finding our inner treasures, we have the ripe fruits of harvest, which is a feeling of contentedness and fulfillment and joy, in a sense, that we, ha we now know what we have in our lives and we can really enjoy that. So I hope you've enjoyed these cards of the day and I hope that you have a really wonderful day being able to let go of the things that are no longer serving you and really seeing perhaps for the first time or perhaps for the first time in some while the things that you have in your life that are most valuable to you that are the most important and that are for your highest good please feel free to leave me some comments and let me know how these themes and ideas interact with your day today maybe letting me know if it's not too personal what it is that you're having to let go of today and what it is that you are finding within yourself please also feel free to check out my website www.theseerscave.webs.com where you can find out more information about myself my tools and the readings that I offer have a blessed and sunny joyous Sunday whatever it is that you do and love light blessings and grief to you all